morning. Happy hey. single. Yeah, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Happy single. Good. Ready for work? Yeah. <laughs> morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome. So today we're talking about protective styles going into the summertime. Yes. It's that time again. The year is going by fast, y'all. My goodness. Yes. Good yes. Morning. The year is going by fast. It's summertime. It's um time for the kids to be out of school. No. You got to find extra things for them to do. Exactly. What Kendall do doing for the summer? Kendall's a busy bee. She's going to dance camp. She's going to North Carolina for camp for a week. Um, shoot, she's going to just be busy. Yeah. Uh, That's good. We might go to auntie house and go swimming every so often. We got, we got some stuff happening. Okay. Okay. You know, I wish I was able to go away for the summer when I was younger. Yeah. But my mom was so very, she was so protective. <laughs> well, her, her auntie is very protective, so that's the only reason why. Because <laughs> she wouldn't be going to nobody anywhere. <laughs> she is just as a mother's bear, a, you know, mama bear like me. So, But I understand. Trust me, it's not. Yeah. It ain't easy. But she's fine she loves it she's got her two cousins at least she got some kids her age to keep her busy so so we're talking about summertime going into the summertime protective styles um h2 girl products is really really a great maintenance product to put in your cabinet so that you can help maintain and manage your hair um did you want to give some of the benefits pat on on the shampoo and conditioner, and don't we still have a sale going on with our sh our shampoo conditioners finishing? Well, we we made the sale to the end of April, but we can extend it okay. to the end of May. Okay. Um, yeah, we can do that. Okay. So we can extend it to the end of May. Michael, you hear that? Extend the what we had on. Uh, uh, condition, uh, shampoos and conditioner. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Michael, extend the <laughs> and extend the discount. Our um, shampoos are SLS, DEA free, sulfate free, uh, chemical free. It lathers pretty well, so you don't have to use a lot. A little bit goes a long way. Um, we should be shampooing out chlorine and, you know, we yes. cleaning our scalps. Uh, we also have our sensational scalp cleanse for clients that are dealing with dry and itchy scalps, severe dermatitis, um, those types of things that are, um, scalp cleanse is amazing. So you may want to check that out. Um, is there anything else? Le we have our leave and conditioner. Amazing. It's great for blonde hair. It's great for multi-textured hair. It's not, you know, um, for curly hair, straight hair, color-treated hair, and it's a great detangler. Yeah. Uh, and our hyper, our hyper hair mask is a great mask treatment. Um, you're gonna get strengthening. You're gonna get hydration. You're gonna get soft, moisturizing hair with that. And then we have our H2 Grow oil and then our serum. We have a couple of good yes. things on the shelf that you can kind of select based on your curl type, your curl pattern. Um, for me, I normally use the Gentle Pure Shampoo, Hyper Hair Mask, the Leave-In Conditioner, and the Anti-Itch Growth Oil, and then our Serum. So that's, we have a package where you can get the strengthening system that comes with the nutrients, shampoo, conditioner, leave-in, and scalp prep. You could also buy that as a package, so... Check it out. And I, you know, uh, most of our products are three months, is a three month supply. So you say you actually save money for by purchasing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And then we have our oils, 
um, for those who are wearing their braids, we have our edge control and our oils to keep our scalp hydrated. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing I would like to say for those who are going in to protect the styles for the summertime, treat, get your hair hydrated, treated, um, steam treatments uh, before you, you know, go in to your braids and what else they do for the summer braids and plaques and twists and uh lace fronts i mean they you know the, you got braid lace fronts it's a whole mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. so yeah different stuff that people can do to protect yourself full locks and things like yeah. that not, i'm not against protective styles i just think the, the longevity of it, we, we shouldn't if you have issues with hair shedding and and breakage you shouldn't be staying in hairstyles longer than four weeks max that's me i would prefer three weeks but i understand everyone has their own budget and guideline but if you're having issues and the hair is staying in braids or or it's in wigs you're not giving the hair the ability to to shed and to promote circulation and blood flow so you're going to make your hair loss situation worse, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Saying put it to rest means you're actually telling the hair to rest, and you don't want to do that. So we will also recommend, if you are in your protective styles, we have laser, low-level light laser therapy, where you can be in protective styles and sit under the laser to get promoting of healthy blood flow, um, cell rejuvenation, and it'll also help with um, hair growth. So those are also some options when you're in your protective styles. Keeping your scalp clean is very important. So if you have hair in scalp, you should be at least cleaning every day or every other day and lightly rehydrating it, like as if you took a shower and your, your skin gets dry. You're not putting a lot of lotion, but you're putting enough lotion so that your skin is not dry. Same thing with the scalp. When you use too much, you're going to create a whole another problem because your scalp naturally makes oil and the more oil you use and not realizing it you can make your situation worse so everything moderation is what I, I would say what, what's your thoughts Pat? um and also those who have fine hair putting your hair in protective styles is is very important because the weight of the um extensions the braids um, pulls the hair and if your hair is fine and thin and fragile and fragile I think you should be very careful on the protect the style you choose right. um, especially the amount of hair that is in the braid I'm, I think so, people pay attention to the amount per square inch of the braid or the locks and then if you're fine, the weight is going to create traction. That's how yeah. we create traction alopecia. So you just want to be mindful of that. And if it feels tight and it's heavy and it's uncomfortable, then you shouldn't really be, you shouldn't be wearing it. You should say something yeah. to your physician and say it's too tight. Yes, I learned that the hard way. My edges still haven't come back. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, you got to be careful. In regards to wearing styles, you're you're creating um, a foundation of hair loss because the hair has nowhere. So think about our hair. Our hair naturally falls down. Like our hair, our head is round. So wherever the hair lives, I as a cosmetologist, we say, where does your hair live? So my hair from the middle of our my head falls forward. That's where that hair lives and so forth going back. If I take this hair here and move it over here, that's not a natural fall, which means yeah. now I'm creating tension that if I do it too much, now I'm telling that hair to possibly break, come out, create a whole nother issue. So we put our hair in ponytails. Yes, I'm not saying nothing's wrong with it, but the constant repetition of going against my hair naturally mm -hmm. down, I'm going to create tension. So um, hopefully um, 
if you're in the area, you could reach out to myself or Patricia and we could scope that area to see if there's follicle, your hair follicle is living underneath the scalp. Sometimes there's still hair underneath the follicle, but you can't visually see it with your eyes. And we do have products that could possibly help recycle and rejuvenate that growth. So don't give up if you think that it's gone. It might not. We might be able to see if there's a possibility to stimulate that growth. So, you know, but thank you for <laughs> You was you you took the words right out of my mouth because I was just getting ready to say that to her. Like, don't give up, you know. <laughs> we do have products that we can't help. Yeah. <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs> You're welcome. You're so welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. So um and it's a good thing you said that because um a lot of people do force their hair to go back and um a lot of people like their hair off their face or they want it up in a bun or the the the, the plaques are hanging too much or it's hot you know and they want to pull them back the tension from pulling it back creates traction so yeah I I was just get ready to say that, but yeah. <laughs> and again, too, we have colleagues in different areas, so we're always happy to share their information. Um, you're not alone. We are a platform and a community to help reach out to others that could possibly help you wherever you are. So don't yeah. I, we're a DM away, we're a phone call away, and even an email away. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, anything else that you want to share? I know with my clients, with braids, uh, I give them a certain routine and regimen. Um, I use a few different things, but you yeah. can also use a uh, leave-in conditioner to spray on the braids for, for maintenance with hydration. Um, our oil, we use a little bit for our scalp. And then we have our, um, our shine spray. It's a good hydration. Yeah. So those are just a couple of things. Um, I also I also recommend um, non rosemary for clients that suffer from seborrheic dermatitis, and and if you don't suffer from that, rosemary spray is decent for the scalp. So you just gotta gotta rule out based on where you diagnosed by your dermatologist. Mm hmm. Don't just assume, oh, I got seborrheic dermatitis. You might have psoriasis. You might have eczema in the scalp. You have to make that determination based on the doctor's diagnosis. So, You know, I also have a routine for my clients who go in to protect the styles in the summertime because I do have teachers who, you know, the kids are home. Um, they're eating more. You know, it's just a lot of things. They have to watch their budget, so they do go and protect the styles, and they're going. They are traveling out of town. Right. So um, what I do is I offer them um, hydration treatments, um, you know, protein treatments before they get their hair Absolutely. Um, braided. So yeah, okay. I, a, a few of my clients actually come get those treatments before they get braids my my category when you're looking for it is a braid prep so in the braid prep you'll get a yes. treatment a trim um and that includes whether you need a protein or just a moisturizing yeah a blowout a trim i'll lightly moisturize the scalp i'll provide the hydration as necessary because a lot of braiders will tell you don't put any oils in your hair but oil you build the moisture at the shampoo bowl which means the hair mm -hmm. will be oily greasy but your hair needs moisture because you're t you're you're putting braids that's going to actually absorb more oil which is going to make the hair more dry and more brittle and more susceptible to breakage so if you didn't know that that's really what happens so, oh so what you call it again what braid prep braid prep ah, <laughs> that's cute <laughs> good morning so i got to add that in my car okay. Braid prep. Yeah. <laughs> they do. They 
and, and they get all of the amenities and it, it focuses on everything to prepare them to go into their protective stuff. So I call it the braid prep if you're looking online for that service. Okay. Okay. I got to add that in my card. Sure. Braid prep. Braid prep, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, is there anything else you want to share with? It's Friday. Happy Friday. Single de Mayo. Oh, isn't it um Cinco de Mayo? Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Be careful this this weekend drinking tequila. <laughs> Call someone to pick you up and drop you off. But have fun. Just don't be drinking and driving. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Uber to the uh spot. Yeah. Uber to the spot, Uber back home. <laughs> it's a or live. spot that we're going to be going to this evening. It says that if you want to drink. Oh, yeah. Uh, Fitz mentioned that. He was like, babe, we should just uh, take a Uber or live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is too funny. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, guys, we have fun, too. We, we have to have downtime. We're going to go have a little good time. Date night, hang out with my girl. And um yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. For the weekend. I'm excited for um everyone that's wanting to get information and knowledge about hair loss and hair growth and hair maintenance. Um Pat and I pride ourselves on that. That is part of my my journey and experience when I am servicing clients. Uh so your scalp isn't healthy, then your hair won't be healthy. Your inside isn't healthy, then your overall your overall health is also a reflection of your yeah. hair in your nails, your eyes, all of that matters. Even with um, teeth health, teeth health will create issues with our bodies, and you're not realizing heart problems and diabetes and high cholesterol. If you're not getting your proper cleanings. Or going to the dentist and making sure that they're, you know, you're getting your routine checkups. That can cause issues with your health, which in turn then starts affecting your hair. We don't put two and three together, so that's just something to, to talk about. And you know, I also say, you know, if you're having issues with your hair, it's good to get a consult, a consultation, because the one thing we can do is recommend. Exactly. We can refer you to a great dermatologists and doctors, and we also can recommend our products that can help you. Because, you know, going to a store to pick out products can is be not a good thing. It's a waste of money sometimes, especially when you got other things going on. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, it's also it's always great to uh, reach out to a professional trichologist. Um, in the area you know we have trichologists all around we have friends that's all around atlanta california new york detroit you know so we have a team of trichologists that we can refer you guys to yeah. also yeah so yeah exactly so be careful of just picking up a product thinking it's gonna help your hair we all there are other issues. Self help. There are underlying issues also. Okay, so I'm saying self help. We're on Wikipedia sometimes, like, I'm suffering from what should I take? <laughs> Not saying that it doesn't help and it doesn't work, but sometimes why don't you piggyback off of someone that's actually a uh, specialty is in the area of telling you, yeah, you're, all, you're spot on, or no, you need to go get a consultation from the doctor, go get. You know, go get a checkup and rule out the overall part. And then maybe you might need to boost your immune system. Maybe, you know, there's so yeah. many different things that can happen. So. Or you need your nutrients or your supplements or your collagens with, along with our nutrients. You know, so. You know what? I wanted to tell you something, Pat. I was talking to a client and, you know, when you ask them, do they have a stressful job? I'm now realizing you got to ask them not only not your current job, but your last job and how long ago was that last job? Because that last job could have been the stress point that made the hair come out. But you now found another job that probably is not as stressful yeah. at all. And I'm like, oh, my God, I 
I didn't put two and two together. And I yeah. realized that person's condition was probably from the previous job that has decided to let go. Yeah. To stop to not to reduce the stress. So I, I want to share that. So I'm like, oh, you got to ask how long ago was your last job that was yeah. the current job. And a lot of us don't even connect stress when we love what we do. But yeah. sometimes it can be overwhelming. We got clients and friends and family that can totally yeah. stress you out, right? So, um, yeah. <laughs> like today, my daughter, we were going to school. Something was going on. And I didn't want to share it with her because I already know I'm not going to tell my daughter that's eight years old something's happening. She's going to have anxiety and stress. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, we have to type pick pick when we say something to somebody. Yeah. Oh, could trigger anxiety and stress because I have some clients I just sometimes don't say certain things that I already know will create the anxiety and then they stressing out for no reason. So those are just some things that I'm, yeah, you know, sometimes just like Dr. Max, <laughs> like Dr. Max was saying, stress is like number one killer, but it's the smallest chapter in the book. Even in our book, we only have one. Yeah, go. Yeah, go figure. Go figure. So, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. And I mean, look, today I straightened my hair. <laughs> I saw it the other day. I, I was like, okay, Jen. My ends trimmed, hydrated, and then I actually recolored my hair. So it was just a maintenance. I don't straighten my hair a lot, y'all. I, I like it, but I love my curly hair. I'm a curly girl. <laughs> <laughs> so don't ask me to. Ooh, I like you with straight hair better than curly because I love my curly hair. <laughs> I, I like you. I like your hair both ways. I like when you press it out and I like when it's curly. It, it gives that mm -hmm. versatility. I like, like change. Cause I, you know, and yeah. I think at some point I might consider getting sister locks. Who knows? I had locks, yeah. I used to wear locks. But um, right now I just like versatility. But some days I'm tired. Extremely okay, but last night I had hair in rods, and then I took them out. I wrapped it a silk wrap cap, and then I went to sleep. I'm loving my sister locks. Um, I can't. It's they starting to look, starting to look like I want them to look. I can't wait till it get higher, it but great. I know it's gonna take. Uh, uh, October will be a year, probably another October. It'll finally look the way I need it to look. But it's starting to look good because at first I kept saying, oh, my gosh, I think I made a mistake. Oh, Lord. Every time I looked in the mirror, you know, in the beginning, that beginning stage, I was like, I think I made a mistake, you know. But now when I look in the mirror, I'll be like, okay, it's coming along, you know, so. Or I wanted to um, talk about something with women or men with curly hair. Uh, a lot of us think just oil is what's going to hydrate and moisturize the hair. It's You can't just use oil. And there's different consistencies of oil. And you have protective oils, and then you have hydrating and moisturizing oils. I feel like we're going to do a live on that because a lot of my clients and I'm not knocking you girls that create your own products and mixtures and stuff, but just always remember if you're not mixing it like a chemist would and you're not making enough of whatever you feel like is supposed to hydrate and moisturize the hair, you're not getting the essential amount of, of um, protection. Because I, I, I know someone that was saying to me that Someone said they shouldn't use leave-ins. What what you feel about leave-in conditioners? I I actually love leave-in conditioners. You know, uh, liquid or cream. There's a reason. Um, we all need I to know. I use our leave-in conditioner every day. Actually, I mix it in with my spray water bottle. So, cause. At night, you know, it gets dry. And then, of course, when you sleep, it sticks down to your head. So I spray, spray it just to move it around and give it its shape. So um, I believe in the event conditioners, you know. Um, 
Hello? It's something that I use, you know. I believe in leave-in conditioners. So, the reason for leave-in conditioners, guys, is that hair is at a certain pH. Water is at a certain pH. Yeah. At a certain pH. Colors are at a certain pH. Certain pH. Conditioners are at a certain pH. So if you're taking your hair's natural pH out of its natural level, and you don't bring it back, that's when you start having issues with drying, breakage. breakage, and hydration. So there is a reason. I, I want to hear Pat's side, but she's using leave-in as a, um, a catalyst, uh, every, an agent to create um, sprucing up her hair, yes, um, hydrating the scalp, and hydrating. Third, she said she's mm -hmm. not just using water, she's using leave-in, Formulated leave-in, equal parts or equal part. parts. It depends mm -hmm. of what you need, but she's using those products to help create pliability without disrupting the the natural hair's pH balance. That's really yeah. In a nutshell, why leave-ins are important. Now, which leave-in to use is based on curl type, curl fabric. Um, and texture and density. Yes. Yeah. And, and it, it for density is is important because again, those who have fine hair, you don't want to put anything on there too heavy to weigh it down. Right. It's, so yeah. Exactly. That's what I want to share. So we will. I feel like we need to have a, a conversation just on those certain little things and break it down step by step. Because I know a lot of clients, they're product junkies. They're like, I got about, I don't know how many products under the counter. And I'm like, well, product is product, right? But knowing what product you have and what's in it will determine the ending yeah. results of what your hair should be. So, um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. But, you know, um, I'm always asking our audience if you have a question or you want or you want to talk about something um reach out to us so we can create a conversation i feel like it's necessary um yeah. share with each other so that we can um encourage and help and support because our our life we do hair all day eat sleep drink hair <laughs> hair, hair healthy hair specialist is different from just i'm styling hair and i do hair as a licensed cosmetologist they're not the same you got some women and men, they can style some hair, but ask them how to maintain the, the integrity of your hair. Not everybody is going to be able to give you that um, balance. <laughs> it's not about bashing. I just say we all have to be yeah. uh, What is your niche? What's the biggest myth about hair you find affects people? That's a little general. The biggest myth about hair you find affects people. The biggest myth. Oh, I know one. Okay. The um that your hair uh, okay, using certain problems products that your hair will grow fast <laughs> faster in three months when hair only actually only grow a half an inch to a uh to an inch per month Correct. so yeah that's a that's a great myth how about that <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a myth um some of the biggest myths you deal with people how about that yeah that's what that's a myth that your hair will grow longer with certain products and I, this and that. It'll grow. If I keep if I trim my hair, it will grow. <laughs> <laughs> if I shave it off and start over again, my hair will be better. That's 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 a myth. Because um actually TLC will keep your hair when I Say TLC meaning taking care of the hair in total of getting it treated and shampooed and get that scalp together yeah. will actually bring that hair back together so you don't have to shave your hair off. Yeah. 
you know, that was a good, a good mm -hmm. recommendation. Because I had a client who uh, wasn't doing her hair for a while, and she came to me, and then I was like, she was saying, oh, just cut it off. I was like, I would, would not do that. I would give it some TLC, some tender loving care. There you go. And now she's so happy with it. So she was like, oh, man, I'm so glad I didn't cut my hair. <laughs> so cut, cut, cutting your hair off doesn't mean no. it's going to go. Yeah. Because yeah. whatever the problem is internally, if you didn't fix that, it's still going to affect that yeah. way that it came out once you cut it off. So that's mm -hmm. another conversation when you come into your trichologist or that we're going to speak on things that affect you internally and your external um, processes, which determine why you ended up where you are now and how do we fix the behavior so that you're better adjusted to, to do better. Because when you know better, you do better. So, yeah. Yeah. Great, great. Great question. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, H2 Grow um, is now on Etsy, Walmart, Marketplace, Walmart Marketplace, TikTok Marketplace, of course, IG Marketplace, and then Facebook Marketplace. H2 Grow. Yeah. And H2 Grow dot com um you also can follow us on youtube at h2 grow inc hair care and products yeah. so yeah if, uh, oh and also we have consultations and discovery calls on our platform as well so if you need some if you need a consultation zoom or a discovery call, um, go to www.h2growinc.com and book your discovery call or consult. Exactly. So we're doing it with Michael's help. Michael is our virtual assistant. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't do it without him. He did a great job. Um, Absolutely. Last month he really put in some work <laughs> he really put in some work so yeah when y'all see those beautiful posts and reels it's yeah. Like to help. yeah it's definitely not it's not how it's who gets the job done uh, yes <laughs> so my team 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 work so, so well, Time for me to go to work. Uh, um, yes, we appreciate everyone that joined us. Um, thanks again. Have a happy Friday. Happy single to Mario. Mario. And last, stay consistent and be patient. Be patient. And it will all, all work out with um, consistent. Just be consistent. Be consistent. Yeah. Trust the process. And stay tuned. All right talk about we will be talking more about summer things summer fun summer hair yes <laughs> says michael michael says um team works make the dream work <laughs> all right thank you michael prosper <laughs> say my friend and to all of you be blessed and have a wonderful weekend take care all right bye, -bye. have a good one you too see you soon yes yeah, see you soon bye Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.